So what makes a good church website design? Well, here are three things that your church website definitely does not need. Well, hey there, I'm Brady from ProChurchTools.com, and this is the channel that helps your church learn creative skills and feel like a pro. We publish new videos every single week, so make sure you hit the subscribe button below. And hey, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Also, your church's website is the most important part of your church when it comes to making first impressions, because before a new visitor is ever going to step foot in your door, the majority of us are going to check out your church online. So we need our church website design to put our church's best foot forward. So can Consider this stat, 46% of people say that a website's design is their number one criterion for determining the credibility of an organization, or in your case, a church. What that stat is saying is that if your church website design is poor, half of the people in your city and community will write off your church immediately. So let's dive into three things that your church website does not need, because one of the easiest ways to improve your church's existing site is to remove elements that don't need to be there, rather than starting from scratch and building something new. Now, the first thing that your church website does not need is a slider. Now, at the time this video is made, sliders are still by far the most widely used design elements on church homepages. And the main problem with rotating sliders is that they don't say anything. Instead, they try to say everything. Instead of forcing your church to narrow down into the true purpose and goal of your site, sliders allow your church to just throw up whatever you want, whenever you want. Moreover, let's look at the data. This study from Nielsen revealed that sliders are ignored entirely by most visitors, and also visitors find them to be annoying. And this study from the University of Notre Dame found that sliders got about a 1% click-through rate, which is abysmal if you did not know. Suffice to say, ditch your slider, it needs to go. And if you want to know what to replace it with, we've got a free guide called The Secret Ingredients of the World's Best Church Websites. So click below to download that, and it's going to walk you through our process of what to put on your church's homepage in place of a rotating slider. And the second thing your church website does not need is stock photography. Now, it wasn't too long ago where you could just slap pictures of plastic people from the world of stock photography on your website and kind of get away with it. But we're at a time in history now where stock photos especially of people, is becoming very taboo. You can blame Instagram or your mobile device, but we all have access to cameras now in our pockets that used to be reserved only for expensive professional cameras. And when I land on your church's website, I want to see your church and your people, not models that you found online. Finally, the third thing that your church website does not need is more than seven, count them, seven items in its navigation menu. So at the top of your website, in the navigation menu, if you have more than seven top level links, you definitely need to shrink that number down. And just look at the following three church websites. New Spring Church, five links. Elevation Church, six links. Life Church, five links. Again, these are some of the biggest churches in the world with dozens of campuses, and they've managed to keep their nav menu buttons below seven. Your church can as well. And there you have it, three things that your church website does not need. If you like this video, make sure that you hit the like button below and definitely subscribe to the Pro Church Tools channel. We post new videos like this every week, helping your church learn creative skills and feel like a pro. And if you want to take your church's website to the next level, make sure you download our free guide called The Secret Ingredients of the World's Best Church Websites. Like I said, it's 100% free, so click to download that. Question of the day for you is, what's the most frustrating thing about your church's website right now? Well, leave a comment below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.